how empty my studio is. All the shelves are bare, but you know what? I have tons of things I'm going to put on there to show you. I went to three different Dollar Trees. I've got my sister here. I've got Art here because I needed extra help to put out all the things that I get. So I go to the Dollar Tree and I do a shopping trip about every six weeks. I love to share with you the things that I get. And most of the things I get are things I use to decoupage. I use napkins and Mod Podge glue. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see all these fun projects that I do. Hit the little bell for notifications. Share with your friends. I love a thumbs up. And please drop me a comment because I try to answer every one of my comments, even if you just want to say hi. Look at all this stuff. Wait till you see what's in all these bags. Before I get into the things I got from the Dollar Tree, I just have to show you some of the things I got from big lots, like these huge metal flowers. They were priced $14. I got them for $2 each. I found out that after season, Big Lots puts a huge price cut in a lot of their items. Fourth of July stuff was like 80, 85% off. I couldn't believe it. So um, I did grab the flowers for $2. I also noticed they had some paper tablecloths. And you know, we could decoupage with paper tablecloths. That's what I used to make that sign. Here's the first bag, but I want to show you our Dollar Tree is giving out recyclable bags. You can use these 125 times, and I'm sure that I'm going to use that bag to death. All right, we're going to start with the calendars. This is Farmer's Market, and on the back, you see little pictures. Each one of those pictures corresponds to the month. Thankful, grateful, and blessed. And there are the pictures again. I love that because you don't have to open the calendar and you know exactly what's in it. Farm Fresh, I think that's going to be this year's favorite. And all the months, well, a lot of the months have the little truck in it. That's very, very cute. Farmhouse, and when you turn that one over, you can see what each month has. And these are perfect for making signs. I know everybody likes to do that. This is my favorite. This is the farm animals. This is the one I got last year and hung in my kitchen. So I got another one with the cute animals. And that's going to be going in my kitchen next year. On to the next bag from the Dollar Tree. This is some of their wooden things. Look at that pumpkin. It's so interesting. We can do the iron-on method. Why? Because it's flat. This is something I've never seen before. The words and the uh, acorn and leaves attached. Oh, here's another pumpkin. Had a knot in it, so I had to take it. Um, this one says, Hello Autumn. And again, with the words and the leaf adhere to them. And they had one that was shaped like a leaf with the words, and it has a little hanger on it. This is a pumpkin. I actually got this last year and I did a project. Check it out on my YouTube channel. It's really fun. And I cannot leave the store without getting at least one of the Dollar Tree trucks. Okay, the next bag. I'm keeping my sister busy back there. Anyway, I got some um, little berries. I have them in black and in orange, so they're good for Halloween. I found these little sunflowers. They're so cute. And then they have ones that are even smaller. How adorable is that? I try to stay focused, but I did find a few signs. Those are metal, farm fresh pumpkin, and I absolutely adore these metal. And you know that little hanger on top? That's metal too. I love that. I bought this, but I'm not going to be using that. It's very nice. I'm going to be flipping it over. I'm going to make a sign. I'm going to use the iron on method. I found some pumpkins with monograms. So of course I got a J and a D. I'll do something with it, but I couldn't forget about my camera guy. So I got A for art next bag. Okay. I love these thick word signs. I did one. I'm going to show you what I did with the word gather. Love these leaves. You can hang stuff on it and you can decoupage it with the iron on method. And it's got a little hanger in the back. Now here's a lesson learned. I was in a very big hurry. And when I got home, I realized that both of these signs were put on crooked. So I'm not sure if that was done on purpose, but I'm kind of thinking that I just should have taken my time and looked a little more carefully. Okay, now the next thing are these little signs. And I bought them because I know that those beads alone are worth a dollar. So I may leave them, I may take the beads, I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going. On to the next bag. Okay, I bought some of these velvet pumpkins. They come in four colors. I got three colors. Oops, get over here. I do have a project in mind for them. They have these laser cut wooden words. I'm so happy when they bring things like this in. I always like to add words to my signs. I don't have a vinyl cutter. Found some wooden mushrooms and I know there's a fanatic that likes gnomes and this stuff in the room. My sister's behind me. 
These are acorns wood. Just because they're small doesn't mean we can't decoupage them. Lots of wooden slices in different shapes. Love the apples. These are little chucks. And when you turn it over, have a little clip on the back. And anytime I go there, I'm always looking for their galvanized words. Okay, now on to some Halloween stuff. There's the iconic Dollar Tree pumpkin. It's supposed to come in white now. I haven't seen it. This is a candle holder skull. It's ceramic. I don't really like the spiders, but I'm going to do something with it. Now they have some of these electronical things. This is a strobe light. And then they also have some of these projection lights. I have to tell you, this stuff is going really fast. You want to keep an eye out when your um, Dollar Tree gets them in, just so you know. A little heads up on that. These are some eyes. The eyes light up. You can stick them in a regular pumpkin, or you can put them in a Dollar Tree pumpkin. Another fun bag of Halloween stuff. The first thing is a little bag of bones, those bones, and these are sparkly bones, so I decided to get a bag. Now, I know I go in there looking for Dollar Tree stuff that I can decoupage, but I strayed. I saw these, they're metal, and they rock. They're so cute. I'm going to put them out for Halloween at home. Um, these are some funky witches hats, and you can put them inside flower arrangements. More of the galvanized metal shapes for Halloween. They had other ones. I only grabbed the hat. Um, I like this, the ghost that stands up, and of course we can decoupage that ghost. I love these signs. There's three pieces. This one has um, two skulls and, I mean, two pumpkins and the tombstone, rest in peace. And this other one has the one pumpkin and the two skulls. And speaking of skulls, look at this sugar skull. It's so intricate. It's wood. You can decoupage it if you want. You can even use it as a stencil. Now, speaking of intricate, look at this sign. Wait, oops, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Um, it's so intricately cut out, I couldn't believe it for a dollar. They have other ones, but I grabbed the Happy Halloween. Are you tired of Halloween? No, I didn't think so. So I have another bag of stuff to show you. Okay, so this is some more of their printed um, signs. I like these. They have kind of a vintage look to them. But remember, those are flat. When you turn them over, there's nothing on them. So you can do something on the back as well. Now, I see a sign like this. Got the three poison bottles on it. And I think, you know, you could take that sign apart and use those little bottles in some other type of crafting project. Here's a couple more of those signs, two for a dollar. And again, have that real vintage thing going on. I really like those. And again, you can do the backs of them as well. I saw these. I was so excited. I love these. They have other ones too. You can decoupage them. It's about three feet long. And you know what? They're going to have some for Christmas too. Love these MDF thick um, wooden words. I definitely had to get another one of those. I think that was out last year too. Got the welcome sign. I couldn't find it last year, but I did find it this year. Now, going to take a break because I have something really special to show you next. Now, if you've heard the word decoupage, you've never seen my videos, maybe you don't know what I'm actually talking about. Well, these are beautiful decorative napkins. I get them from Vippy's Designs. This is Mod Podge decoupage glue. I use the two of them together to create beautiful decor and gifts, and it's not hard to do. I'm gonna show you some of the things I've made. That's a picture I got from the Dollar Tree. I painted it blue. There's the napkin that I used. It's a plain, clear glass vase. Look how I transformed it with some paint and that beautiful sunflower napkin. I've got lots of videos to show you how to do these with the right techniques. You can do these, even beginners can make these. Here's a little shaker. I use the same technique. A scrap of that napkin it's got little holes in the lid you can put little flowers in there if you want now these MDF signs gather love them I decoupaged it there's the napkin I used the iron-on method came out perfect just hang it on the wall I love their stretch canvases I always pick some up when I go there and look I made a let it snow wall art I used a napkin I got from Vippy's designs look at that when you open it up you get two of those. You can make one for yourself and give one as a gift. Here's another one, and that's actually from a paper tablecloth. One of my last projects was where I used these glass tea light holders from the Dollar Tree. I used mulberry paper and some seasonal um, napkins that have leaves on them, and we created this beautiful tea light holder, perfect for harvest. Love these little easels. I changed them out for all the different seasons. I'm a little ahead of myself this year. Um, I did this one farm fresh. Christmas trees. And here is the napkin. 
you can do four. Remember, there's four of those on a napkin. Now, here is the iconic Dollar Tree pumpkin. Uh, they come in white, but I haven't seen them yet. That one I covered with the scarf. Um, you know, put a little jazz them up on top. This one I actually did decoupage with a napkin. And yes, that is a Dollar Tree pumpkin. Now, I have to show you some of the generic things that you should pick up uh, when you're at the Dollar Tree. These are things you can use for any holiday or any season, like these glass jars. has a little gasket in it. Those are really cute to decorate. There's a spot to put a label on in the front. This is the tea light. I used the mulberry paper on the one I just did the project. I strayed on these. I love that color. I had to get them. No idea what I'm going to do with them, but I have to get them. This is the vase that I used with the sunflower napkin on it, same vase. I love this. I've never done anything with this goblet glass. I have to do something that are so pretty, maybe mulberry paper. The little shakers I love, these are something for like powdered sugar or cinnamon. Um, you can decoupage the outside of these and use them for food as long as the Mod Podge isn't coming into contact with any of the food. These are these beautiful pink glass candlestick holders. I love them. Again, I strayed, but they were so pretty. Got a couple more of these tea light. There's the clear. I got gold and this smoke color. And then you know what? I'm looking at that pink, and I think it goes so good with those two, the smoke and the gold. Okay, next up, glass tea lights. Grab these, my next project. Now I found some metal items too. Um, I've never seen these before and they look like they're maybe made for a little piece of bread or a loaf of bread, but I'm actually going to use them to wrap a present in. I'm going to show you that soon. These are some of our metal trays. These used to be plastic. You can decoupage these. You can make them into signs and of course you can use them in as trays. Um, this I saw and I'm like, oh, this screams Christmas to me. You could put a picture on them or picture going that way. You can use it as a tray in the center of your table. Put some mulberry lights in there. Be so, so pretty. All right. Got some more like little miscellaneous kinds of things to show you. My sister's busy back there. Um, okay. So those are little magnetic hooks to put on the refrigerator. These are magnets too. You can cover the magnets with like your children or your grandchildren, and then you can put them right onto your refrigerator and your pets too. Now, this is some more canvas. I always pick up the canvas when I'm there. This time I got the square size. These are actually lids for the mason jars and there's little spaces in there. That's so you could put flowers through them and then they stand up better inside the mason jar. It doesn't have to be real flowers. Black chalkboard paint, I've never used that before. Now I got it, now I have to give it a try. These are wood grain pencils. Well, looks like wood grain. My brother is like a pen fanatic, so I thought of him. And since I got five, I can share them. This is a pen I got during the summer. I just want to show you that when you click it, the little words change as you go around. It kind of tells you what you should be doing during the day. I just got that for fun. How to show you. All right. I never used their gems before, so I bought them in blue, and I got two of them in the clear. So we're going to play around with those. Crayons. I really didn't get crayons to use, but I had to show them to you, the ones with Mickey Mouse. My mother loves Mickey Mouse, so I had to get them. But the ones I loved the most were the Sesame Street. Look at it. It's just their eyes, and we all know who those different characters are. I love those. All right, these easel, you see them in every hall. I'm always buying them. Same thing with the stretch canvases. I just showed you one that I did. Here's some um, tissue paper, um, nice floral. But what I really love is that pale lilac with the flowers. That's really pretty. Next up are the dominoes. I just did a project with the dominoes. It was on my group page. You can join my group page. Goes along with my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. All the information is below. Got a project coming up for this, and it's coming up soon. Another bag of fun stuff. I'm going to get back to the Halloween, but I had to show you these things. These are sprayers. I believe that they are made out of aluminum, and you could do a lot of things with these sprayers. You can put oil in them. You can use them for water. I like to bring them to the beach. Oh, it really cools you off. I got a couple more of these date books, but look, I got one for my sister and I got one for Art. I'm not sure who's going to get what. Um, maybe Art's going to get the gold one. I don't know. Maybe this one. Um, I think I'm going to give my sister the one that says ready, set, goals. And when she's laughing at me, you can't hear her, but she's laughing at me. This is where they're really laughing at me. I needed a dustpan and brush and I had no idea that the Dollar Tree carried these. Look, I live with someone who breaks a lot of stuff. I need one of those. Okay, I got it. Maybe I'll go back and get another one. 
Um, this is another mason jar lid. This one has a chain so you can hang it up. And then I got two of these beautiful flowers. You can use them for crafting. I got one for me and one for my sister. Before I get to the next bag, I want you to look at what happened to my empty shelves in my studio filled with things. Many of these things we can decoupage. I've got lots of DIYs on my YouTube channel, so make sure you check it out. All right, so here's some more Halloween, um, more of their wooden shapes. You get eight of them. That's the jack-o'-lantern. And there is the witch's hat. You get eight and has the little hanger in there as well. I got some more of the clips. And oh, here's a cat. They have other shapes too, so make sure you check it out. Uh, these are more of the clips, the jack-o'-lantern, and the ghosts. And when you turn it over, you can see there's a little clip on the back. Ghost has them too. Then I saw these um, spooky with the word. Again, I don't have a vinyl cutter. I'm always looking for things that have words on them. Um, when you go to your dollar tree, check out all their wooden stuff. They had way, way more than just that. I love this fabric with the cat, so spooky and scary. I'm going to put that on the back of one of their clear glass plates. My Dollar Tree rarely has ribbon. That's probably one thing they never have. I love these. They're very neutral. I saw three different colors, so I grabbed them all. Okay, more Halloween. All right, so here's some of the picks. They have the silver and the blackberries, and these actually have bat wings on them. So those are good for your floral arrangements. Sugar skull stickers. This is actually a candle and it is made out of glass. There's the candle and they come in other colors. I really like the green. I bought these last year. I didn't use them. I couldn't find them. So I had to buy another um, set this year. All right, I'm gonna give a big shout out to my friend, Jeff. He painted these skeletons white and then he decoupaged them. He decoupaged these skinny little skeletons and they look so cool. So I bought uh, one in the gold and I bought the other one, which is glow in the dark. Okay, let's keep going. All right, surprise, surprise, surprise. What is starting to pop up on the shelves of the Dollar Tree? Well, yes, they are already starting to put out some of their Christmas things. Look at that, look at those gnomes. We all know who likes gnomes. She's right behind me. She's already telling me she wants them. I did find these little pine cones and I actually decided to buy them because I don't know if I'm ever going to see them again. Really nice. Look at all these things I picked up from the Dollar Tree. A lot of it is stuff I'm going to decoupage, so I'm going to be using Mod Podge. Now, I do a haul about every six weeks, so when I do it, I show you lots and lots of things. And then, of course, I have videos that go along with a lot of the things I get from the Dollar Tree. So please subscribe, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Make sure to hit the bell so you'll get all notifications every time a new video comes up. Share with your friends. I would love, love to get a thumbs up. Please join my group page. And I want to thank Art and my sister both helping me today. And thank you for joining me.